Week 25. And what a lovely week it's been because we just got told the gyms are reopening on June 22nd. Fantastic. Um, some of the gyms will not open. The bigger gyms that require lots of people in the doors to be financially viable will probably not open straight away, maybe, if they're really restricted with the amount of people they can get in, whether that's 20 people per room or 20 people per the entire premises. Not sure, so we'll have to wait for confirmation on that. So I work at a, at a Fitness First big gym. Um, if they can only get 20 people in the door, they will not open. So we will wait and see. What's new this week? We dropped calories at the end of last week. So I decreased a bit of rice. My macros are now at, I just looked at them, um, protein 353. Carbs, 244. Fats, 137, I think. Calories, 3,623, maybe. About that. Um, I've felt good the last week. I changed my split last week as well, so that was new and exciting. Um, split up chest and shoulders from push day. Um, I've got two back days, a vertical pulling day and a horizontal pulling day. My shoulder really doesn't like splitting chest and shoulders up, but we'll see how we go. I'm hoping that the two back days will be a positive for my shoulder health going forward and it'll settle down a little bit. We shall see. My mental state the last week has been fine. Haven't gotten too angry, I think. My strength in the gym has been fine. Pretty steady, pretty steady. Um, the things that really hurt my shoulder, I might back off on a bit, but it's not because I'm getting weaker. It's just because I'm trying to look after my shoulder. Um, I don't know what else to say. Oh shit, the biggest news. Um, I think the comps that I was going to do in season B will actually run. So I spoke to someone today, um, the ICN, I haven't actually checked um, their Facebook recently, but I think they're going to be announcing the actual dates of the comps. And I think they're just going to be pushed back a month compared to where they were planning on running. So I've got an extra four weeks, I think, to diet, which is good because I've kind of just been cruising along the last six weeks i probably should have dropped cows six weeks ago but um i wasn't sure whether the comps were were going to run so i just kind of maintained for a while anyway so i think i'm if we get another four weeks i think i'm 20 21 weeks out 21 21 let's pretend i'm 21 weeks out roughly and i've got about 10 kilograms to lose, I think. Haven't weighed in yet, still not weighing in. Uh, I'll wait until the gym opens to weigh in and just try and play it by feel, which like I said before, is incredibly ineffective. Um, if you're trying to diet for a bodybuilding show as a natural athlete and you're not weighing yourself, uh, it's difficult. I don't know how you can see such slight changes in yourself every week to know exactly what to do uh, it really helps to quantify things with a number and just see a decrease in body weight every week every week every week and if you don't then you drop cows um, it's so simple as a natural athlete obviously if you're eating enough protein you're training hard you're not losing muscle all you're doing is losing body fat um, so when you weigh yourself every day and compare those weights to the week before the only thing that's really changing is body fat. So weighing yourself is essential in my opinion, but I'm not doing it for some reason, but I will soon. Same again this week coming, um, no change to diet. Um, keep going on the new split. I was kind of just getting used to it the last week. So it'll be nice to be able to refer back to what I did last week and 
try and do better again this week. And sleep has been probably a little bit better the last week. So I'll try and keep that going again. Although I did just purchase Netflix for the first time in my life. So I really wanted to watch the, the Michael Jordan documentary on Netflix, The Last Dance. Um, I caught kind of the last five years of Jordan's career when I was younger. Not that I was that into basketball, but I did admire him as an athlete just because he was very dominant. So even as a little kid that didn't really care about basketball, I knew I liked Michael Jordan. Um, and years ago when I watched Michael Jordan to the Max, the IMAX movie, I thought that was fantastic. Um, very similar, actually, kind of feel to that documentary and The Last Dance, except Jordan didn't talk in in Michael Jordan to the Max. It was more just, I think it was just focused on the 97, 98 um, NBA season. Anyway, good documentary. And I heard they're doing the next 10-part series doco on Lance Armstrong, which will be interesting for me. Um, I haven't really followed Lance since the drama of him admitting to using performance enhancing drugs. I followed his career a little bit when he was writing. Um, and in my opinion, all the top guys take take performance enhancing drugs anyway. Um, so the fact that he admitted to taking it wasn't really that exciting for me. Um, but the fact that he would call out other people for using when he was using and he would sue people that, um, that spoke out against him and said that he was using as well. Um, it'll be an interesting documentary anyway. Some, I've got more spare time now than I've ever had in my entire life. So I'll watch a bit of Netflix for the next four weeks before the gym opens. Train hard, eat well, sleep lots. See you next week.